Mental health champions out there, we have a special bonus episode coming to you today with my friend Clay, who I met a few years ago up in Tallahassee with Jackie Toledo. Shout out to Jackie. She's incredible. Me and Clay stayed in touch, became friends, and now I found out about his work that he's doing over at 21 and Change, where they champion inclusion, education, and human rights for people with de developmental excuse me, disabilities. I'll read their vision and then what we're talking about today. It's their fundraising event. It's tomorrow. There will be elected officials there. And their goal is to raise donations throughout the day. Fox News will be there all morning. And this is their mission statement. We believe in the value of all human lives and that all should have the opportunity to discover their full potential. We believe that everyone is born with the inherent right to freedom, to self-determination, to dignity and respect. We believe in a day when our children will be seen as people first and not disabled. We believe there will be a day when we secure the full measure of human rights for people with dev developmental disabilities. They're doing such great work over there. Clay, thank you for taking the time to stop on a mental health break. Vince, thank you so much for having me. Uh, it's much appreciated. And I know that you know you do a lot of really good work out there and thank you for what you're doing in our community to help promote mental health it's uh we need more of if we can copy and clone you we need we need more of you out there doing what you do i appreciate it clay well everyone out there this is a mental health break it's your first time with us thanks for stopping by each week since january 2020 i sit down with another mental health advocate or professional to help you on your journey i would like you to remember that you are not alone Today, we have a bit of a bonus episode, but we're raising light on a great organization. There are a lot of mental health ties into the work that Clay does. Every person has a mental health, no matter who you are. So we're going to learn about this side of it today. But before we get to that, I love to hear a quick word from our show sponsor, Tampa Counseling and Wellness, and you can find all of their information in the show description. Are you constantly exhausted and overwhelmed? Do you struggle with your confidence or self-esteem? Are you ready to live a life with more passion, courage, and excitement? At Tampa Counseling and Wellness, we want to be there for you every step of the way. While we understand that change may be difficult, we have a proven track record of helping our clients live a more joyous and meaningful life. Whether you are looking to overcome some current life challenges or you are looking to do some deeper healing, we are here to help you. Our compassionate approach to therapy is rooted in building your confidence and insight while helping you gain mastery of your life. If you would like to learn more about our services or you would like to schedule a free consultation with one of our clinicians, please visit us at www.tampacounselingandwellness.com or simply call or text us at 813-520-2807. We look forward to growing with you, Tampa Counseling and Wellness, where it is okay to not be okay. But I want to start by asking you to explain better than I can 21 and Change. For sure. And uh, thank you for the opportunity to share a little bit about us. Um, so we are a nonprofit organization founded in Hillsborough County uh, by two veterans, actually, who had a child with autism and a child with Down syndrome. And as they were uh, going through the education process of the public school process in Florida, they found gaps in the system where even people with means, it is challenging to get the services that their children need. So each year, uh, a child in Florida needs to be evaluated prior to the start of a school year through an individualized education plan. And our organization fund fundraises for IEP scholarships. So essentially, we're able to get a advocate to uh, eat, help a child and their family through the IEP process to ensure that they have uh, the best advocacy behind them possible. And so that's one of the things that we do as an organization. The other two are uh, we provide educational tools to parents and caregivers of children with disabilities um, and a disability you know, may look different depending on the uh, the child themselves. So a lot of instances, it can actually be trauma related, which, you know, ties in directly to mental health. Right. So, you know, trauma facing children these days is on the increase, whether it's what they see in school or out of school. And so really ensuring that children have those services and parents and caregivers, whether that be a foster parent or a grandparent, they need the tools in their hands because of how things have evolved so quickly. And then the third component of our, our organization is that we advocate in Tallahassee and locally uh, with our elected officials to ensure that they're passing laws and policies that 
not only support children with disabilities, but support their parents um, because they are the ones who, in, in a lot of cases, are most impacted uh, by the, the laws that are, are written and passed in Tallahassee. So that's a little bit about us. Um, our scholarship pro program is through uh, vetted advocates. So they're certified advocates uh, throughout the state of Florida, um, and they vet the potential sponsors that are sponsorships that we provide. And uh, currently we provide sponsor uh, scholarships to over 19 counties wow. and pulling 70 families. And uh, with this event coming up tomorrow, Champions for Change, uh, we're hoping to double our, our, our impact and, uh, you know, spread throughout the, the state of Florida. Thank you for sharing all that. Um, before I ask you where this event is, what's the website for you guys? Where can everybody find more about you online? Yeah, it's 21 and change, 21 and change.org. And uh, you can go through the Champions for Change link to donate, or you can just go through the donate link if you'd like to support us. You can get tickets for the events on that website? Uh, yeah, so right now we have an Eventbrite that you can go to. Uh, we actually are all booked out on volunteers, but if you want to come Amazing. by the Tampa Movement Lab tomorrow at 10 a.m., that's 1335 West Gray Street. That's when the event starts. Um, it's free of charge. There's there's no cost to attend. We'd, we'd appreciate a small donation if you're able to make one, but really the day is for children with developmental disabilities. All right, Clay, that sounds great. But everyone out there, if you want to learn more about Clay, they can find you where, Clay? Uh, you can find me on LinkedIn if you'd like, Clayton Clemens, C-L-A-Y-T-O-N-C-L-E-M-E-N-S. Or you can add me on Facebook or Twitter at Clayton Clemens one All right. But before I let you go, since this is a mental health break, I want to touch a little on mental health. What are some of the mental health challenges you see in your work with kids? It really varies. But, you know, one real uh, common denominator in my life has always been physical fitness and to pair that with the event that we're hosting at, at the Tampa Movement Lab tomorrow, um, you know, fitness, is, it's a huge mental health uh, helper or aid for a lot Great. of people. And for children with disabilities, they often are left out and they're on the sidelines. They don't get the opportunities to um, to play like other normal children. And so this ends up being an additional comorbidity in their lives. So we really, I think, you know, physical fitness, whether you're neurodivergent or neurotypical, um, is a huge help to supporting uh, longevity in life and happiness. I love that. Well, Clay, thanks for all the work you're doing. I'm someone who I use fitness as my mental health tool every morning. And here we are today, everyone. One more time, 21andchange.org, I believe is the website. Yes, sir. All right, everyone, be sure to head on to there. Again, the event is tomorrow, June 3rd, 10 a.m. at Tampa Movement Lab. You can find Clay on LinkedIn. Clay, thank you so much for taking the time to come on the show and raise awareness for the great work you do. Thank you, Vince. We appreciate you too, man.